Hi guys, welcome to Ant's Adventure and the first episode of Life Inside the Mesa Colony. But before we start, I want to thank you guys for the massive amount of views, likes and comments I got on my previous video. It really means a lot to me. Here's a speedy recap of my first video. Keep watching until the end, because I will announce my new project and I think you will like it. In today's video, I will show you how the colony progressed after connecting the tube and whether or not they moved in their new home before the hibernation period started. Let's have a look. Directly from the start, the colony went on a crazy expedition exploring every part of their new home. They climbed to great heights and even higher and kept doing so for the following weeks. I spent hours of watching the colony sweep the entire terrain and bringing back food to their nest. I recorded the path of this particular major for almost 10 minutes and it almost felt as if he knew I was recording. On purpose, I placed seeds on top of the large wood object so I could study their activity even better. And although it's not as cool as seeing leafcutter ants transport leaves, I still think messers are very underrated. They really seem to like the plants too. They use them as shortcuts to get to other places. As you can see, the river I created was also very popular. However, straight away the colony started digging in a nearby area and in a matter of days, this is what happened. The river was no longer functioning, oops, but nonetheless, it is really cool to see them escape the terrain. After all that hard labour, I decided it's time to give the Mesa colony one more special meal before hibernation. And of course, they do what Messers do best, start collecting right away. I absolutely love this shot but I still have some difficulty filming macro. So feel free to share some tips with me in the comments. I use a Nikon D5300 plus 60mm macro lens and extension tubes. The entire colony played their part in bringing the seeds home. And even after watching it countless times, I still find it fascinating to see. Look at these jaws! What a showcase of pure strength! Even an obstacle couldn't bother this one. They are very devoted to their tasks. Sometimes a bit too devoted if you ask me. This ant tried for hours before calling it a day. Besides seeds and water, a mesa colony also needs protein to stay healthy, so I gave them some snacks. They came into action straight away and climbed on top of the cockroach and began the attack. It's really cool to see them all work together so that the major can do his job. Finally, I added a mealworm for dessert. It took a while before they had transported it back to the nest. A few weeks later, the temperatures started to drop and the mesa colony became less active. Since I knew hibernation was due, I decided not to force them to move in the new nest areas because that could be very stressful. In the long term, I think I made the right call here by doing so. Even though they kept exploring the tunnels, they only used it to bury some fallen colony members. When hibernation started, 99% of the colony went back to the original nest and stayed there for the upcoming months. 
But as of today, they are becoming active again. And in our next video, we will watch the Mesa colony as they leave the hibernation phase and hopefully expand to their new nest. And as mentioned at the start, I will now share some details about a project that I've started working on. It's called the Ant Lab, an ant farm setup that will feature water, multiple examination platforms, ropes and much more. It will enable me to create better footage and do cool experiments. Stay tuned by subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video, although the colony hasn't moved in yet. And please leave a comment and share your thoughts. See you next time.